welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back, guys, to another Play With Thunder episode. And this is episode 20, I do believe. I just checked. Uh, or 21, excuse me. The last episode I loaded was uh, almost a month ago now, so it's been a little while. And I was working on the, uh, the roller coaster, the shapeshifter. Uh, so that's what we're going to go over in this episode. So we're going to just dive right in here and I'm going to show you what I got. And you guys are probably already eyeballing the big dragon head in the background. And I'm going to fly over there and we're going to take a look at it. Uh, so basically is what this is. Uh, I didn't actually create the head. I took it from a schematic uh, from Block Fortress. And there will be a link in the description of the whole thing. Um, so basically I ripped the head off of it. And also the tail and I put it over there. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, basically I ripped the head off it and I customized it and I thought it was a really cool beginning to the the shape shifter um, and we'll go up inside here and we'll take a look at what I've done uh, like I said I've changed some of the blocks and I've run the rails up through the middle and I'm gonna walk on this side or I'm gonna get burned and I put fire down the middle so I thought that was pretty cool and like I said I just changed the back of it you know back here where it connected to the body uh, just so it would fit into what I was building and I'm flying through the mountain here so you can kind of see it it cuts through and it comes out here and this is actually going to be the beginning over here of the uh, sh uh, the shape shifter and this is a different world from uh, what I had before this doesn't have the towers in it um, this is uh, actually my new uh, railcraft red power world and there's the shape shifter sign and uh, I did have a tutorial up on my channel for this uh, Matthew from Australia helped me make it uh, but there seemed to be some controversy of who actually come up with the original design and um, I didn't like the controversy around it So I actually took the video down off of my channel um, I'm gonna actually redo this using red power and then I'll make another tutorial here another week or two Probably about two weeks and I'll actually show you guys how to do this with uh, red power once I figure it out and uh, make it a little bit better uh, and then here's the tail part of it and this is where the uh, the shape shifter is actually going to end. It's going to come out through here somewhere, maybe from behind these these hills over here. That'll be that'll be pretty fucking cool. And it's going to come right up in his ass. And uh, we'll go down here. And like I said, I'm uh, put some kind of a building out here. Uh, you know, like the entrance to a a ride or whatever the fuck. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. Haven't worked that one out yet. Uh, but anyway, same thing in here. Uh, it'll actually come up underneath, probably through some stairs. Uh, and then you'll walk in here and I've got two tracks and the reason why I've got two tracks is one is it looks really good in the beginning and then also too I decided to split the tracks later on down the down the line and I'll show you that when we get over to it um, one line goes one way and one line goes the other and I've got actually quite a bit done since the last time I had the video up like I said I've moved it over here to my new world and I've got a lot of the main track is done it goes up to the dragon head uh, and we'll just ride here for a minute and I'll just babble on uh, servers coming up uh, looks like uh, Monday the 25th uh, I put up a lot of videos to my channel so those who are watching uh, be sure to check those out you know if you're waiting to get on the server uh, make sure you follow the videos and get registered on the forums I've got a video step by step now how to do it uh, so that'll make things easier and I've got an extra block right there oh, I don't have builder on fucker I'll come back for you um, but yeah, that looks really neat uh, kind of going through that. Uh, that was a really nice add-on. I was happy about that. And then I've got a really big drop here that goes into a, a, a t nice dark tunnel. Uh, I may cover up the outside of this here. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, still kind of playing with some of my thoughts and ideas. Uh, I'm saving, you know, kind of a lot of time right now for the server. Uh, we're going to Jungle Boogie. Going that way is going to be Ravine Run. Um, that's kind of self-explanatory, and I'll show you that when we get done with Jungle Boogie. Uh, I wanted to start off with the jungle first, and it worked out really good because it was really close. Uh, so basically it just runs through this, and I'm going to do a fly over here in just a few minutes. Uh, I just want to ride through and show you guys what it actually feels like. I didn't um, put this on the server yet, um, just for the simple fact is I needed some stuff to work on on my laptop uh, while I was at work, and I couldn't get on the server. So I figured I'd do it on uh, my laptop in my single player world, and when this is done... Uh, I will add it to Jag's package, and you guys can uh, either re-download that, or I may just put, may, maybe just put the world up uh, by itself. Um, you don't really, you won't really need uh, Red Power, or possibly Railcraft. It depends on if I use it for parts of the track. Um, if you load this up in a regular world that doesn't have Red Power, 
uh, like that volcano over there just won't be there. There'll just be a big fucking hole in the ground. So, but the tracks and the system should still work. Uh, but if I add things to the system later that I use Railcraft, um, then you'll probably need Railcraft to get the rest of the system to work. Uh, but it, it's pretty cool. I've got a lot done so far. I actually had more done and in the past couple weeks between switching it uh, between my laptop and back onto my main computer. Um, somehow I grabbed the wrong world and all this isn't done now. I had all the lights up. I uh, had all the fence posts. And that shit's a pain in the ass to put all them down. I can't MC edit any of that. Um, so I'm, I'm actually building the whole, pretty much the whole damn thing by hand. As you can see over there, that's where the, you know, oh, fuck. Now nah, that's my phone. Anyway, so you can see over there uh, the fence posts that I put up. I uh, had that all underneath the other part over there. And all I have to do is just finish through this part. And uh, down here, uh, I just run it out straight. I was going to run it back up through again, but I figured that was enough of Jungle Boogie and get off the track. <laughs> Asshole. Uh, it's going to come out right here, obviously. And I'm going to pick this up. Chica! We're going to fly over here. Uh, this is where the other track will come in. Somewhere right around in here. I'm not really sure yet. I've kind of explored over there, but it's been a little while. Uh, I think there's a snow biome. Yeah, right there. So I'll probably run through a snow biome next. Uh, as far as the jungle boogie side. And it may bring the other one back over here. Uh, but the other track is going to run right through here. Uh, where is it? Right through here. Um, this made a really, really nice cut between these mountains. So I thought this would be a really cool place to run the run the system uh, or the roller coaster. I was actually I was going to run the whole thing through this first and then through Jungle Boogie. Um, I thought it'd be a little more interesting to to split the tracks up and run one down through here and then one run one run through the jungle. Uh, so, anyways, this is where this comes out. Like I said, I haven't even worked on this yet, but uh, this looks really good. This is a good setup for. Uh, a nice run. I may run it in and back out. I'm not really sure, but it's going to be pretty damn interesting. I'm uh, pretty excited about it, and hopefully, I can get another episode up within another within another month. I don't have to wait another month to get this up because uh, I'm going a little bit too long in between the Play with Thunder series. Uh, it is the longest running series on my channel, uh, so I'm trying to you know trying to bring it back. Uh, the server has taken up a lot of my time here lately, but it's it's very important to me and it's very important to Matt. Uh, so once that's up and running, I can get... Damn, my phone's going off like crazy. Sorry, guys. Uh, and I probably can't edit that out. But anyways, uh, yeah, the server's taking up a lot of time. It's, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to Matt. Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting in there and seeing, you know, a lot of the old people that was on the first server and also to a lot of the new people that are just, you know, have joined the channel recently and they're, you know, really, you know, digging what we're doing and they want to come in and meet us and play and all that good stuff. Uh, so that's why that's, uh, you know, pretty much priority one right now. And like I said, that's coming up. Hopefully it looks like July 25th. Uh, we will have one more server announcement video coming up uh, Friday. And I will announce the winners for the biggest fan. And we will also announce the actual time of the opening of the server on that following Monday. Uh, so make sure you, you uh, stay tuned to the channel and get all the latest and greatest fucking updates uh, because if you don't, you're going to be left in the dust, and then you're going to be PMing me uh, questions, and I'm going to be like, dude, watch the video. Uh, that's what they're there for. Uh, so anyways, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the shapeshifter here. Uh, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to get some more of this done and finish the tracks over here, and at least get Ravine Run done for the next time. Uh, so episode 22, the Ravine will be done, and then this one should be done, and they, they'll be connected back there uh, somewhere back there <laughs> anyways uh big recording weekend so i got a lot of videos to do i'm actually doing another one uh my uh build it better series i'm gonna start right after i get done with this episode here uh looking forward to that too i've been working on that for a couple weeks um just haven't liked how it's been turning out so i keep you know starting it and stopping it starting and stopping it uh, I'm just kind of babbling on right now, but I just want to let everybody know what's going on around the channel. I love to keep you guys updated and in the loop uh, of what you know Jag's doing. You know, just keeping up in the comment sections that takes a lot of time, and I appreciate that. You guys are awesome with the support. Um, while you're watching the videos, throw me some thumbs up down there, guys. I'm only getting like 14 likes on my videos and like 400 views. I know you guys are loving this shit. Throw a like on it. I would I would really enjoy that. 
um, you know, along with your comment that just, you know, makes me all warm and fuzzy and uh, makes the hair on my balls grow, whatever. Uh, but if you're sitting here watching this, throw a thumbs on it. I like it. Uh, and uh, throw some things down in the comment sections, uh, what you think might go good with the uh, shapeshifter here. So anyways, guys, that'll go ahead and conclude this episode of Play With Thunder. And uh, remember to tune into this, uh, the channel for everything going on this week and in the future. And uh, we'll, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.